Well, good morning to you, church family and friends. Thank you so much for joining us for this next installment of morning prayer. Good Wednesday morning to you. I have Charles Spurgeon in my hand. I have you on my mind. And this morning, we're going to pray uh, under the theme of your adversary. Your adversary meaning the devil, meaning Satan himself. And listen to what Charles Spurgeon prays. Specifically, listen to how he prays as we're looking at the greater perspective. We're looking at the greater picture of not just seeing our life, but we're seeing our life in the as a part of the greater perspective of the whole, of the cosmic reality of the battle between Christ and the devil himself, the understanding that uh, the devil himself is a defeated foe, uh, that Christ is the victor, and we who are in Christ uh, find our victory in Christ himself. So listen to what Spurgeon prays so many years ago. He says, Great God, we bless you that the battle between yourself and the powers of darkness have never been uncertain. We praise your name that now it is forever sure to end in victory. Our hearts this morning amidst the struggles of the present day would look back to the conflicts of Calvary and see how our Lord forever there broke the dragon's head. Oh, he says that your people this morning might know that they are contending with a vanquished enemy, that they go forth to fight against one with all his subtlety and all his strength has already been overthrown by him, that is Jesus, who is our covenant head, our leader, our husband, and our all. Spurgeon continues, he says, Grant to your dear children, Lord, who are by any means depressed, perhaps that is some of you this morning, because they feel the serpent at their heel, that they may bless the dear name of him whose heel was bruised before. Thinking back about to Genesis 3. But who in the very bruising broke the serpent's head? Genesis 3, I think it was Genesis 3.15. Uh, the Lord himself prophesies. He speaks uh, forward to where Jesus would be uh, on the cross himself. And the serpent would uh, bruise the very, head, the very heel of the Lord Jesus. But the, the heel of the Lord Jesus would, would crush, the, crush the head of the devil. A couple of thoughts this morning as we, as we come to a close. Number one, that the devil truly is a defeated devil. But then number two, that the devil is God's devil. In review, the devil is a defeated devil. Uh, you might say that he is on borrowed time, uh, that his days are numbered, and that his destruction is sure. But in the sense of the devil being God's devil, let's think that the, the devil is always in God's sight, that God has him in view and he has him in control. And then secondly, that God has him on a divine leash, on a divine leash. So this morning, I want to encourage you, I want to implore you to give your mind, to give your heart to a greater perspective, that if you are in Christ this morning, you are in a hand that is safe and sure of the one who has defeated your adversary. You need not be scared. You need not be afraid. You simply look to Christ. Your only hope, your only comfort, your only joy, your safe and sound tower, in other words, from Proverbs 18, by which the righteous run into and are safe. God bless you this morning. Let's pray together as we close our Wednesday morning time. Father in heaven, we thank you for the victory of Jesus Christ over the devil himself. May your children be comforted. Lord, may they be encouraged that they can run to Jesus and find safety in him. Lord, we thank you that the victory has already been won, that you have already defeated the devil. And Lord, we are now standing with Christ, running our life as a victory lap. Lord, thank you for a Wednesday morning like this. We pray that we will live victoriously. We will live faithfully as Christians under Christ this day. In Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, church, friends, and family. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Take care.